podcast not everyone's cup of tea to consume an entire podcast that's why welcome to the ranvi shows highlights channel drs clips subscribe and hit that bell icon i had just written my first novel uh, the rose of ally and i'd been invited by a university in kolkata uh and uh, i finished my lecture and i had a little time on my hand in the afternoon because my flight was the next morning so i told my driver i said take me to some interesting place so he said sab aap mandir dekhenge now if you are in kolkata it is taken for granted he is going to take you to a durga temple kali mandir he took me to a temple um the road was known as sridhar roy road we stopped outside a very unassuming structure we walked in it had it was about the size of this room four bare walls whitewashed in the middle of the room there was a green colored throne marble throne and there were people there lighting agarbattis doing aarti uh, chanting prayers and uh, ranveer uh, i um, s- sat there watched this for a while and then when i looked closely i realized that on the throne there was a portrait of amitabh bachchan <laughs> so an assuming driver had taken me to an amitabh mandir <laughs> and on that throne there was a pair of uh shoes that had been used by amitabh in the shooting of kuli wow so i pinched myself i thought to myself is this real or have i entered into some alternate dimension are these guys for real i came out of the mandir uh and i was waiting for my car to pick me up and a little boy uh had a basket and which contained agarbattis and phool and phal and prasad uh actually meant for people who were going in uh i had not seen him while going in but i saw him while coming out he came mm. and said saab aap kuch le lijiye i picked up only one thing from him it was a small little book uh a prayer booklet it was known as the amitab chalisa Huh? <laughs> the Amitabh Chalisa. <laughs> One day I will read it out to you. So uh, instead of the Hanuman Chalisa, it is the Amitabh Chalisa. And I was thinking to myself, I said, "Okay, Ashwin, now you are standing here outside this mandir, and you are waiting for the car to come and pick you up. Now, what in case your car comes at a very high speed, mm. and he is unable to slam on the brakes, and you get knocked down?" and you die on the spot and now as per the law of karma you take birth a thousand years later and a thousand years later the cult of amitab worship has really caught on now there isn't one temple dedicated to amitab there are 1 million temples dedicated to amitab he is treated as a great great god and someone taps you on the shoulder and asks you the question do you think that amitab could have been a real historical figure now today today we know that he is a historical figure that he exists but a thousand years from today he has acquired a mythological status mm. so we question could he be real mm. and for me that is that lovely tantalizing what if question that what if something were real mm. so we are asking ourselves today about ram and krishna but would 300 versions of the ramayana have been written in case there wasn't some great man who did something very great which resulted in his story being told mm. and with every re- successive telling people layered on their own ideas their own perspectives so as a result of which it became very difficult to separate fact from fiction mm. amitabh bachchan's brand and his power comes from a place of being a part of a ton of beautiful fictional stories Correct. which we call amitabh bachchan movies Correct. but they are the stories that stay in people's heads that's why bollywood stands where it stands in our country as a part of our country's culture yes fiction is a weapon which can be used by the pm of the country to drive narratives it can be used as the uh, kind of core behind religion starting out yes. 
and it is a human skill that begins with storytelling in the now if you're 22 23 learn to tell good stories by the time you're 30 learn to sell good stories yes i i think i i think whether frankly i don't see the divide between fact and fiction uh because a lot of the stuff that we consider as fact is actually fiction i mean for example i wrote the book chanakya's chant uh most of my research uh, for chanakya's chant came from an, a sanskrit play known as mudra rakshas and mudra rakshas was written almost 700 years after the lifetime mm. of kautilya mm. uh and it was written as a play that was meant to be performed on stage so what if what if vishaka datta the author of the mudra rakshas was today was that times ashwin sanghi mm. who was taking little bit of fact little bit of fiction and mixing it up and in order to spin a grip a good yarn mm. so in that sense even the books that have engrossed you you talked about sapiens but ultimately that was also a bloody good story mm. because it was it it kept you hooked collection of good stories but it kept you hooked mm. at the end of the day that's the most important thing 